So on this video, I really wanted to share with you how I make my gum paste tropical plumeria flowers. Now, these flowers really remind me of summertime and going on holiday, so they're perfect to add to cupcakes or birthday cakes to really give that summer tropical feel. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need to actually make the flowers is first your gum paste or floral paste. So I've just got white here, your foam board, a bottle, a cutting knife. Um, I've got my cutters here that I'm going to use. Now today I'm going to use the extra, extra large one. So these are both the five petal cutters from PME um, and they come in different sizes. Uh, I've got some paintbrushes here, a cocktail stick, um, just some edible glue, a rolling pin. Um, I've got some edible tints here. I've got some cornflower, I've also got some tin foil. Now you can use flower trays um, or different kind of trays that are available. I just kind of like to make my own. So these are just to hold the flowers once they're made. So all I've used is um, a large piping tip and I've just shaped the tin foil into that just to create this little dip with that. And that's what we're gonna use just to um, hold the flower and shape the flower. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna roll out the gum paste. Just making sure that there's corn flour on there so that it doesn't stick. Now, you want this fairly thin, um, but not so thin that you can kind of see through it. Just under a millimeter in thickness. Okay, so once that's rolled out, I'm just gonna take my five petal cutter and cut that out. And then with my knife, I'm just gonna separate each of the petals. So just by cutting further into the center until they all detach. Take my rolling pin and on each of them, I'm just gonna push upwards. So with the point facing towards me, I'm just gonna lengthen them slightly just to get that shape of the petal. And then I'm gonna bring my foam board in. Now, usually I would use the white one, but I'm gonna use the blue one just so you can see it. Um, so I'm gonna take my bottle and just round in the center. And then on one side, just feather that slightly and then pull down to shape them. And I'm gonna do that to all five. Okay, so once you've used the bottle on all five petals, what you're gonna need is a cocktail stick. And on the side where you have um, thinned it out slightly, you wanna start at the point at the bottom and just pull the side over. And this is just gonna give you the shape of each of the petals. Okay, then to put the petals together, we're just gonna take our edible glue. Starting with the point at the bottom, we're just gonna pop a little bit of edible glue just thinly down that side. Then we're gonna take the next petal and we're gonna tuck that point underneath the previous one. So all the points are gonna to come together, but still with that slight fold over them. So you've got this fan shape. Now to bring the flower together, you just wanna put a last bit of edible glue on the last side of the last one you put down. And then pick the flower up and you just wanna close the flower together. So it looks as if you're kind of closing the flower up. So bring that final petal round so that they all meet. And at the bottom, just press lightly to bring all the points together. Now, we've got our petals like this, and then you just wanna pull each of them out. So what I like to do is you just wanna separate them, but at the same time, just slightly twist them just so that it's not completely flat. And then what you can do is either on the back, just chop off that excess gum paste, or if you're gonna thread um, a wire down there so you can wire them together, you can use that extra to wind around the wire. And then I'm just gonna bring my um, tin foil tray in and just place that on top just to keep it shape. 
so and then I'm just gonna put that to one side um, just to dry it and to harden okay so once the flour has um, hardened so that it's not soft to the touch I'm gonna color the petals so what I've actually got here is some petal dust um, in some different shades so I've got three different color yellows um, and one that's slightly orange now what you want to do is put the um, the color inside the petal so the bit that's actually folded over is from the back of the petal so that usually remains white so i'm going to pick some of this yellow up here and then just put in my paintbrush inside the petal just kind of wiggle the color out and do that all five of the petals And I'm just gonna take some orange to finish and just pop that in the center of the flower. And there you have your tropical flower. Now, these flowers come in all different color combinations. So you've got the white and yellow, you've got variations of pinks and purples. So there's so many different colors and sizes that you can make that would look great on your cupcakes and birthday cake. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more of my video tutorials, please